Hallo der Blind Spectator für euch am Mikrofon und willkommen zurück zu einem neuen Weg. Wir sind wieder auf dem Kanal von Let's Game It Out und der hat ein neues Video gemacht, nämlich ich habe einen Themenpark gebaut äh, des totalen Dinosaurier Chaos in Parkasaurus. Wir hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're checking out Parkasaurus today because if there's two things I love, it's parks and dinosaurs, especially when they've got big nicht. derpy googly eyes. Also, developers, thank you for a key. I'm sorry in advance. Also, this video is sponsored kommt. by Genshin Impact. Link in the description. But more on that in like ja, a minute. Genshin, okay, name Genshin your so park. Much. Disastersaurus. Yeehaw. Okay, so here's the beginning of our beautiful park. Park. It's got bumps, it's got trees, it's got grass, and most importantly, it's got lots of room to grow. Oh, and would you look at this? Our ticket booth comes with a person. I think she's gonna be the perfect employee. Do you know how I know? She never seems to leave her post, but most importantly, has a nice 500-yard stare. You are definitely a grace. Karen. So I don't know if you've uh, seen me play Park Sims others, before, yeah. but I kind of have a standard operating procedure here, which is before we turn this into a dinosaur wonderland, we need to wow the people with a stellar entrance. We got the normal stuff like paths and stuff like fences and doors. We also have buildings, which holds a lot more secrets than you'd think. Because sure, we've got stuff like concession stands, and glorious decorations like plants, prison cinder blocks, mailboxes, traffic cones, and whatever the hell this is. Oh god, and my personal favorite, beautiful stairways, ramps, and bridges. Well, I think I know what I'm starting with. Wait, it can go past the barrier? Oh my oh, god, bitch. what? <laughs> why is this a thing? Why does it allow this? You know, why question it? Yep, that's the face of someone that doesn't care. Strangely enough, if we allow people into the park, oh, Oh god. Unfortunately, it doesn't <laughs> stop people from paying and walking into the park. And we can't have that. There's nothing to see yet. What about if we move it to right there in front of the entryway? Let's see how the adoring public deals with this. Ah, much more to my liking. They pay ah, and then okay. don't have any idea what to do. They're like, I could do that jump. It's not that far. And then they try the next best thing, which is walking up on the fence itself. You've got all these magical powers, but you still can't figure out how to get in, huh? Either way, this seems really promising. We don't even have a working park knows. yet, and we already have people paying and getting stuck and that's just great hey you know what else is great today's sponsor and that's genshi and world of terror the recently rules geschmack sache genshin impact hat mich nie angesprochen no hara fire so that symbol more care i'm in this game watatsu as well as battle new stuff so if you right now so here more and the genshin impact for sponsoring let's go see how our stairway is doing yep, still here boy excelente unfortunately in its current state we can't do much with that stairway because we're kind of riding that line of where we can build and i'm pretty sure these bunch of quitters aren't gonna allow themselves to hop back down well if i can't connect structures what about terrain like this raising terrain tool okay let's see about raising that to oh can't say oh, i was expecting shit. that but i like what i see nice to see people are still paying to get into the park but now they fully can't get inside they also can't leave i bet that stairway is looking a little more enticing isn't it yes <laughs> yes Oh, they can just, oh. like, transport out of here when they want to leave. Bunch of cheaters. Ah, uh, yes, that's what I like to see. When you want to buy your ticket, get upsettingly close to the employee. Yes, and then wait in line at the very edge of the boulder. And wait there literally all night. Well, now we gotta ask ourselves the question, don't we? They've given us such lovely terrain tools. Is there a limit to how high this can go? Oh, God, do you see the shadow back there? Oh, boy. That's so far, shandy. so good. What like, seriously, fuck? why can you build this high? What good can this possibly do? But enough talk. Have at thee. I'm gonna go ahead and say the answer is no. Like, some of these go so high that if you look at them from the wrong angles, they just disappear. At this point, I'm more or less convinced it'll go as high as you want these little columns to go. Like, this wall is so high that if we go around to the other side, the wall part casts a shadow that goes all the way to the edge of the park. But, you Mitch. know, people are still lining up, and thankfully the rock face is swallowing up Grace. Not that she seems to mind. Well, that's all fun in games, but if they can't actually get into the park, we should probably fix this up a little bit. So let's go ahead and flatten the terrain and lower it back down. Okay, just gotta get through all the layers. You know, I couldn't help but notice though, there's one piece I still couldn't remove. <laughs> Wait, why can't I flatten this part? Why oh, is this a also thing? This and look at these so citizens shiny. trying to find their own way in. I don't know what's worse, when people are all in her business or literally using her booth as a thoroughfare. Well, let's see if we can fix this. Water tool, deep water tool, smart water tool, pour water onto the ground. Well, this is not what I expected this tool to look like. What let's see fuck? what it does. 
Oh. Well, that's cool. Oh, uh, yes, they seem very happy. And they find themselves suddenly completely submerged in liquid. Yeah, honey, you wait here. I'll go get the tickets. <laughs> and if you take a gander, it looks like that water level is slowly rising. Oh, what I wouldn't give for this level of apathy. I guess I can kind of see why you'd want to see this now. I mean, nothing about what we're looking at makes sense. There's water literally going up the rock thing. And the water is impossibly above the wall line. Like, this shouldn't even be physically possible. So I'm still adding water. And you can see it's slowly extending over the entire park. Oh god, I'm so curious now. How high can the water line actually what go? What the fuck? Oh, please. Nur leicht buggy aus. Well, this continues to be ever so promising. There's our physics-defying water line. I've been holding down the flood button so long that it's autumn now. And boy, do those fall leaves really pop. You know, from under the impossible water. That said, as amusing as this is, I gotta let go of the button at some point. Because, I mean, it needs to drain eventually, right? Right? Okay, so it doesn't appear to be draining. I've been sitting here waiting for the water line to go down, <laughs> and it's really not. Even reloading the game doesn't appear to have done anything. Oh, but you know what it did yeah, do? Good, you you look look at that. Is. The way is clear again. I mean, of the mountain. Maybe not so much the part where everything's submerged. So I guess we have no choice but to continue adding water. Bye bye trees. Bye bye. 20 stunden. Okay, let me tell you what I've learned. I am now convinced that there is indeed not a limit. Which honestly, besides the part where the water line is just looming overhead at all times, it doesn't really seem to make a big difference to everyday operations. You can't even really see it up there. I mean, I know it's there, because when I want to do some building, there's a big ol' ocean in the way. But hey, that's what the free cam is for. So that we can just wander below that line and bask in everything under the sea. So I guess let's oh, just keep going as normal, right? What do you say, Grace? Yep, she agrees. Anyway, what were we doing? Oh, right. Building a dinosaur park. Let's start by getting those stairs out of the way. Ah, glad to see everyone's coping with that just fine. Well, now that I removed the stairs, why is everyone stopping here? Oh, I didn't even realize there was a pit here. And that's just way too much coping. Asking them to figure out how to connect this path over to that path over there. What if I sweeten the deal? Like, what if I put fresh squeezed orange juice on the other side? Mmm, sounds delightful. And that silhouette doesn't feel like a nightmare at all. Ta-da! <laughs> Oh, hello, Grace, again. How are you doing? Okay. Really? This still isn't <laughs> enough? Well, I guess that's literally what these bridges are for. So I guess let's just put it right there. Who cares if it's right through Grace's torso? There you go. Ah, and it's time for transactions, I see. Or to do a quick draw. You know what my favorite part oh, about okay, this is, though, is the amount of trash that's around now. This thing's been open like two oh, seconds. No, How did you all make such a big mess? And started. by that, I mean I'm so proud of you. I'm also glad to see that this disaster has made you all happy. I mean, if we're gonna call this face happy, you know, when you're smiling maniacally and holding back the tears. Excuse me, did I just see you pick up trash? I am not happy about this. And I don't know if you know this, but the game also has a first person mode. And not only does it have a first person mode, you see that down there? That's my tranquilizer gun. Obviously you're supposed to use this on dinosaurs, right? But surely it'll work on people, right? Hey lady, think fast. What the fuck? Oh my god, that worked splendidly. Just in case that was a fluke, let's try again. T-pose this. Okay, works great. You can get up now. Oh, okay, they just descend to a better place, got you. Well, let us commence the- Lit. Oh, Jesus, that nighttime comes on fast. Just like all this tranquilizing. Hey, you, stop that. No warlocks in my park. Looks like we have some early go-getters. Hey, go back to your car. Oh my god, I can just shoot people from the parking lot? And you know, I couldn't help but notice. Sure, they evaporate, but their car stays there. Which is different than if people actually leave the park as normal and then drive away. So wait, are you telling me what I think you're telling me? If I go ahead and just T-pose these people to death so that they never go back to their cars. Are you telling me that we can have a full parking lot of just empty cars? And also, did you what just run over those people? I would have done this anyway, but you monsters. If this doesn't say legitimate business, I don't know what does. It's a shame there's a boundary line right here. I would love to just go be a maniac in the parking lot, but this is almost better. Can you imagine? You're out on date night, and the owner's standing there waiting for you to show up and then just tranquilizes you both. So it looks like when the day resets, everybody automatically Aww. goes home. Which means in order to get a full parking lot of empty cars, we gotta make sure it happens in one day. For that, we're gonna need a lot more people to come into 
to the park and we're gonna need them to be happy and how do we keep them happy we got a bunch of different things we got fun by viewing dinosaurs decoration by making the place pretty hunger by eating and who cares about this one let's start with food also, needs. since i'm gonna say we man. already understand you that speed, one well man, yes that's what fish. we'll call this master class in customer service okay so at present time we have about 20 people in the park obviously we can do better let's go ahead and add a whole row of orange carts mm. i like that some of these people buy orange juice and then more orange juice before rounding out the day with a little orange juice i do <laughs> not envy that drive home yeah that's how i'd feel too you're gonna have to piss like a thousand times on the drive home thanks for your patronage well it looks like despite all the plentiful options we're not bringing in more customers i better mm. add more juice stands oh you know what i just realized when you put down a stand it puts down a little path too and it's plenty for them to walk on well no need to give them all these extra tiles they can just go ahead and make do with the bare minimum and this also means that if people want to go anywhere they have to use the paths created by all this commerce army of grace is reporting <laughs> for duty and thank god we have so many buildings to choose from okay i added a couple of things to the orange juice stands say hello to my mini city we've got food, what the fuck we've got more food and even more food not to mention food all run by our adoring clones oh and we also have this thing where you know you can get your picture taken and pretend your head is popping out of a dinosaur's brain space i mean in theory i think that's what's <laughs> happening i prefer to call this whole exchange ode to phoning it in first we have grace who creepily doesn't even look at the pictures she's taking staring completely no. away from the client the person getting their picture taken isn't doing much better though they're not even trying to use the cutout <laughs> i think instead they're using this time to stare into the void and contemplate existence and then once their photo is done should. time to go back to the real world to mechanically go through the motions truly an experience that'll last a lifetime i also don't know what to think about the fact that after they're done they do this what the hell was that? What are you doing? Anyway, having all this crap available now seems to be helping out a little bit. We have 24 people in the park, now 25, which is, you know, something. Looks like it's time to move on to the next step. No, not dinosaurs. Scenery. Let's see, what kind of trees do we want to plant? I mean, I think obviously we're going to have to plant this thing, right? Who doesn't want a rainbow sherbet tree? Oh, God. Why do you rise up like that? You know, I don't care. Let's just put you literally everywhere. Oh, yes. Into the wall. That's what I want. Give it that real exclusive walled-off garden feel. Okay, we've done it. We've bordered mm -hmm. the whole property in trees. Go forth, visual splendor, and capture me some patrons. Don't forget to let every tree hit you in the face on your way into the park. Fuck. My God, just Fuck. look at this. My cup runneth over with patrons. Also known as nobody cares about trees. Oh, you know what? I think I know what the problem is. I was getting scenery confused with decoration. Oh, silly me. I should have known better. Nobody cares about nature. Not when we can decorate with these boxed wildflowers. Oh, or this on. hazard cone. Ooh, or a campfire. Trees, out of the way. There's a new sheriff in town. Yeehaw! Oh, too <laughs> yes, much better. Nothing quite gets the blood pumping like having to navigate your way through a bunch of unattended open fires. And you know, I'm gonna make sure to give the people what they want. Half-hazard piles of bricks. So it doesn't even look like the park is complete. And how about some prison centers? blocks. Well, it seems like we're going in a healthy, positive direction. Number of patrons coming into the park is getting higher and higher. Well, now that things are seeming absolutely positive, I guess it's time to add that thing that people came to the dinosaur park for. Okay, so for this to work, we need to create an exhibit. We're gonna put the first one right here, because what could possibly go wrong with that? To do this, we gotta pick up a fence, all of which are clearly dinosaur-ready, like this white picket fence. Ooh, There's look at this. Fence. Plexiglass electric fence. The perfect material for when you're building underwater. We're gonna to split the difference and go with this fence, the wire fence. High strength and low privacy. Now you're speaking my language. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and, and there we go. Ta-da! We did it! Couldn't have done it without you, Graces. Is, is, is. And now let's fill this thing with some dinosaurs. To do that, we need to go up to the town, which looks kind of like if Derpy Dinosaur Clip Art got together and founded a town with a fever dream. We don't need all this stuff like vegetables and meat, but we are going to need beautiful dinosaur eggs. We're in sandbox mode, so we can just pick anything we want. You know, like okay. Triceratops or Clark Kentrosaurus. Everybody after they've eaten Taco Bell, the Animatrix. Let's start with this one, the Warehouse Osaurus. We just hit Create, and that chicken gives us a Yoshi egg. In fact, you know what? Give me a couple of extras for the road. It's fine. Meanwhile, back on the ranch, let's take our new oh, eggs, wrap it down, and now all we can do is wait. And then once it's ready, let's just give it a little pokey poke. Ah, crushed under its own shell. Oh, no, there it is. Ah, <laughs> it's so delightfully derpy. 
You know, looking at the meters <laughs> up above, I can't really remember what this crown meter was at before. Dino appeal. The higher this is, the better reviews you have, the more people will come to your park. Well, if one dinosaur gets us to 408, then surely adding a couple more friends is even better, right? Okay, much better. 90 beautiful eggs. What Just give fuck? all these eggs a quick crack. Come on out, fellas. Uh, Alter, die Frame Rate oh, ist aber echt uh, solide, muss man sagen. Going on? Well, I gotta admit, this is not what I was picturing. I definitely wasn't expecting them to make like two groups with one confused outsider. And boy, you're all so much louder than the first one. Und kacken tun sie überall. Oh god, do you hear this? What is happening here? What, what are you doing? Oh god, this is insanity. What <laughs> are you people doing? Gotta say though, it certainly has helped our numbers, hasn't what it? What the Now fuck? Now we're at a glorious 37,128. Oh, I get it. Now you all want to get into the park. All the food options and campfires weren't enough for you? Seems to be helping though. The parking lot's getting a little more robust. Our population's made it upwards of 80. And while I'm happy the lines are persisting all the way to closing time, I just can't help but think that we can get more people in here. And I can't help but think that adding more is an even better idea. Don't worry, little guys. I left you plenty of space. Oh, good lord. That's a lot of Zs. And now I'm back to heavily concussive screaming. Okay, go ahead and join your friends. Ta-da! 73,000 plus points. I like how technically there's like hundreds of dinosaurs in here. And yet somehow it still seems so contained. I mean, this guy's clearly having Fox trouble containing his line? excitement. He's got a wave to every single one. Uh, hello. What have oh, we here? Yeah. Something seems different. This must be the first dinosaur rapidly growing up. Uh-oh. They woke up big and strong. Stop hitting the fence. Oh, shiver me timbers. Who could have known there'd be such an outcome? Look at these people not actually scared. Quick, honey, let's go to that place where we can roleplay like it's Jurassic Park. Oh my god, I'm so scared. The dinosaurs. <laughs> Everything is just so scary. Quickly, the only way to fight them off is with some of this funnel cake. And this dinosaur picture that's gonna last a lifetime. And run. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. So Obviously, sure. we can just patch up this fence. And it's gonna solve all our problems. Where everybody inexplicably thinks that the dinosaurs are loose. But instead of patching that fence can i just cover this whole area in one big fence and make this all like one big exhibit only one way to find out yep just keep running it over the desert okay okay and one final wall to connect the whole thing across well that looks like it did it and now we just need to make sure people can get into the exhibit which sounds like a job for stairs <laughs> oh please god let this work come on come on go in go in yes Walk! Keep walking! Now's your chance! Yes! Yes, you're in the exhibit! Oh, I love it. Now they're not scared at all. So for some oh reason, my now that God. the whole park is one giant exhibit that you're walking around in, technically the fence is closed in, because there's a bigger fence around this fence. So now nobody cares. <laughs> okay, so here's the other thing. Normally, you're only supposed to be able to put eggs in an exhibit. So if we go outside our new boundaries, can't place an egg there. But since this whole thing is one giant exhibit now, we can put eggs anywhere we want. And nobody seems remotely concerned by this so it looks What like it's fuck? back to the egg place and let's buy us oh i don't know a little bit of everything sorry chicken you've got your work cut out for you today <laughs> okay i've got a bunch of eggs now time Ach to start putting it. a lovely assortment of random dinosaurs down what egg is what who cares okay i've filled the boundaries with Ach eggs Kacke. so many eggs if there was a spot the to frame put rate one, then I put one. the frame rate is already suffering by the way from just the presence of the eggs so i can't wait to see what happens when it's time for these all to hatch Oh god, it's time. Brace yourself, everybody, while I spend the next 10,000 years cracking open each and every one of these eggs. Good god, half hour later, I finally cracked open all the eggs. Welcome to your new world of five frames per second. Okay, for real though. Baby T-Rex, despite being on fire, <laughs> super adorable. Derpy and adorable. What the hell are mm -hmm. these dinosaurs doing? Are you guys ordering food? Do you work here now? Is this how far <laughs> we've come? I have no idea what's happening. You know what I can tell you though? This little number up here is a little bit larger at over 500,000. And surely Leute people drin. are interested in this, right? Oh yeah, they want to see this, all right. Look at this beautiful, somewhat creepy marching line. You know, I kind of forgot what we were doing. I know we were trying to fill this parking lot full of cars, but it seems so useless now that the frame rate's so bad. You know what I find kind of interesting? No matter what kind of dinosaur it is, everybody is so docile. I guess they've learned to live among the humans now. I guess I'm oh, mostly so curious shit. if the dinosaurs are going to be less forgiving if one of the barriers is broken. So let's go ahead and bring each one tiny hole in the fence here. Here goes nothing. Honey! <laughs> oh, no. Yep. 
I think they might be rebelling now. As I see carts flying around at one frame per second. What yeah, I'm fuck? sure you're happy down there. Oh, good this God. Is cool I can't sitting. see a thing. No more frame rate. Only listening. Well, I'm sure it's going to be fine as long as they don't attack those French fry stands. Well, I guess I'm not all that surprised that this is what happened the moment we opened up one tiny breach in the fence. And I know I wanted to fill the parking lot, but I don't think that's going to be happening now. Goodbye, orange juice stands. I hope you had fun. I know I did. I want to thank Genshin Impact again for sponsoring. Check out the link in the description. I thank Josh from Let's Game It Out for that you did this tolle video gemacht hat und euch dafür, dass ihr es angeguckt habt, im besten Fall. Der Kanal ist natürlich auch verlinkt und äh, ich hoffe, euch hat es gefallen. Wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Bis dahin, haut rein!